everyone, it's Pavlina and I am here at the NATPE and it's going to be a crazy day. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, I am here with the amazing Norman Lear. She is, she's here with the amazing. Yeah, look at that. So, growing up, kids always have all sorts of obstacles. What kind of obstacle did you have and how did you overcome it? Okay, I'm okay. So, we're going to be on the air for about 35 minutes. Thanks. Okay, yeah. I had a father who went to prison when I came back. Oh, wow. And I lived with uh, uncles and aunts for the first uh, boy in my life, and I was 12. And uh, here we are. Even that, I got to experience. But you overcame it, and now look at you. Like, and now look at that, and look at the right book, now. even this. Yeah, exactly. And, he, and you, I guess, were right <laughs> Very good. So, growing up, like I've grown up on TV and reality TV and all that stuff. So, if you were like just starting now, or if you were like 17, I'm 17. Um, what would you be writing about now? If I was 17, what would I, I'd be writing about meeting uh, Lavina Oster oh, and, uh, and having such a good time talking. Very cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And you're welcome. Okay, hey guys, so What's I'm up? here with Marcus Johns. What's Me. up? Yes, yeah, hi. <laughs> so, growing up, kids have all kinds of obstacles. What kind of obstacles did you have, and how did you overcome or deal with it? Uh, when I was younger, when I was uh, in ninth grade, I was like super short. I was very not short. Not short anymore. I w no, no, not anymore. I'm 6'1 now, but when I started high school, I was like 5 feet tall. Like, just under 5 feet tall, actually. And I was like under 100 pounds, and I was... Just I was a small kid, a yeah. very really small kid. I got lucky with the height, but um, I had like a lot of. Uh, I think thinking back, I don't think I had self-esteem issues, but like I was always kind of like the funny kid yeah. to um, maybe just like you know not people think I'm like you know this little like baby kid. I, I tried yeah. doing like I was like an athletic kid. I wanted to play football. My brother was kind of a bigger kid. He yeah. played football. And uh, I did football my freshman year, but I was just too small. Yeah. So I eventually got into student government and uh, started doing theater and stuff. And I think that I started doing that, and it kind of gave me more self-confidence. I started, like, working out. And, yeah. you know, so I think it was, like, maybe when I was younger, I was, like, I always felt like I was a small kid. And, like, was no one really made fun of me for it, but I was always self-conscious yeah, about that. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm short, so it's okay. Like, <laughs> no, you're not what? that short. <laughs> yeah. So, um... I've had tons of embarrassing moments like over the years and everything. So sure. what has been like a crazy embarrassing moment for you? Crazy embarrassing. Oh my gosh. There's been literally too many to count. Um, <laughs> I always go back to like one memory and it was like when I was a little kid. I don't know why it's the first thing that comes up in my head, but it's so traumatizing. Yeah. I was a kid and I went up to my dad and I like I was like hugging his leg and like rubbing <laughs> his leg. I was like, I love you dad and then all of a sudden I looked up and it wasn't my dad. And it was just like so embarrassing, and nice. I don't know why <laughs> that stuck with me forever. Yeah. But yeah, it was probably that. That would be pretty traumatizing. Yeah, I walked into someone's car, and it wasn't my dad, but like they had the same car, and got I was like, car? Yeah, I got in the car, and I was like, Hey, dad, like, what's up? And then I was like, You're not my dad. Like, this is really creepy. That's yeah, insane. it was my friend's dad, so it wasn't as bad, oh, okay. but you know, still. Um, so, what has been like your favorite video that you've like ever done on your Vine or skateboard dad? The one with my dad where I was a uh, I was trying to do a skateboard and my dad, or I was trying to do a kickflip, and my dad came up and he did a handstand on the skateboard. That's oh my forever my favorite one. What the heck? That's like the craziest thing yeah. ever. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, of course. Nice to meet you. So I'm here with Mark Acutman. So what is up? What is up? We're here for Napti. Yeah. Um, talking about Shark Tank. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite topics. Nice. And talking with you, of course. Yeah, thank you. So what has been like your best and worst deal? My best deal was pretty much all of them. I've got 30, and so I'm excited to work with them all. And my worst deals are the ones where I do with Kevin. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I interviewed Barbara, so like... Barbara's amazing. Yeah, she's yeah, pretty I, good. I love working with Barbara. Yeah, I like Barbara. Barbara's super cool. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what has been your favorite thing here so far? Have you been here very um, long? No, I just got here, but I just it's fun to get back together with all the Sharks. Yeah. You know, we, we shoot in June and September, and so the chance to get back and, and kind of, you know, just touch base and catch up is always fun. Yeah, and if you didn't do the Shark Tank, what would you be doing right now? I'd still be running the Dallas Mavericks investing in companies and doing what I do. Yeah. Oh, thank you so thank much. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm here with Tyler Oakley. Over six years that I've been doing radio and everything, I've had some embarrassing moments. What has been like a crazy embarrassing moment for you? An embarrassing moment for me? Um, oh, goodness. You know, I don't really do embarrassing. Really? I've learned, I think, especially because in high school I used to do like uh, musical theater and yeah. like acting and stuff that 
anything that goes wrong is an opportunity to spin it and just yeah. go a whole new direction, like Definitely. an improv sort of feel. Um, so especially on YouTube, like if anything happens in my life that's like bad or <laughs> an unfortunate, at least it's like video content. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't do embarrassing. Growing up, kids have all kinds of obstacles. What kind of obstacles did you have and how did you overcome or deal with it? Uh, when I was growing up, um, I had issues uh, across the board. Um, my family wasn't the richest. Uh, my family went through divorces. I struggled with uh, body image issues. Um, a lot of stuff that a lot of people go through. And the way I dealt with it was to just reach out to people around me and uh, to be honest that I needed their support. And I was really uh, uh, grateful that a lot of people were there for me and so um, with that in mind that's part of why I support the Trevor Project is yes. they're a resource that no matter what you're going through you can reach out to them if you need somebody to talk to and you can call them 24-7 it's free it's confidential and uh, I know that if I had that growing up and I knew that that was available that you know a lot of I mean I was never to the point of uh, crisis yeah. but knowing that there's somebody to talk to can sometimes be life saving so yeah. making sure that I know that my audience knows about it is really important to me definitely I was actually covered the red carpet one year so Amazing. like I know all about it of course. so yeah I, cool. was, I probably was there I think you were yeah. actually it yeah. was a while ago but yeah awesome. so cool thank you so much of course thank you for having me